Hi there folks and welcome to episode 14 of the Manchester United save on the FM21, no longer a beta, and uh, we're doing pretty well. We've uh, re-established re ourselves back on top of the table. If you just have a look here, three points clear, game in hand. It seems to be going hunky-dory at the moment. Our last two games, though, since the last episode, we beat Sheffield United 3-0. We're scoring goals, by the way. 3-0. Greenwood and Deport scoring and getting us off the mark in this game. We rested a lot of players. There's a lot of games in the space of a few days, and I think we're into a period now where we've got a game nearly every other day now. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. A lot of players are being rested, and for, fortunately for us, we are still pulling out the results. And then the West Ham... What a game. We had the majority of our plays about Martial getting two. He missed a penalty, I think he did. Rodrigo, DePaul scoring one. We've got Greenwood and Fred as well. Greenwood scoring a brace as well. But even so, the goals are just flying in. 6-0 against West Ham at home. And now we face Dortmund at home in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final. And then we've got Everton in the away. Our home form is just absolutely uh, fantastic at the moment. If we just have a quick look at... Uh, our uh, home form, we should be top. We are 16 for 16 at home. We have not lost a game at home in the league and we've not drawn either. Six goals conceded, 53 scored. We are scoring for fun. Overall, we've scored 84 goals this season, 17 conceded, which is uh, when you think about at the halfway stage, we had only conceded a few. <laughs> we have conceded an awful lot since then. Players are getting a little bit complacent, I guess. There's about seven games remaining. Martial, I think, has now uh, got the record for the most number of goals in a season. I think he's on 48 at the moment. But unfortunately, for some bizarre reason, it's not um, picking it up. Dennis Law is still the top with 46. Martial's got 48. So I'm wondering whether that will change at the end of the season. I don't know how often this updates. I don't know. We'll soon see um, what happens there. But there's no confirmation that he's got the record just yet. Oh, nearly a full five-star as well, reaching his potential very, very quickly as well. 32 and 28 in the league, 48 in 45 in all uh, competitive uh, games. Minus internationals, of course, where he's got six and four. And uh, the friendly is five and seven. So he's uh, done very, very well. Averaging 7.53 in the league overall, 7.48. Absolutely outstanding performance this season. He's literally surpassed last season's. So we're going to carry on. Dortmund. Let's uh, bring in, I'm um, hoping one Basaka is perfectly for this one as well. Uh, is Tellez fit? Tellez is injured. He's still injured. He's out for another four weeks. Bruno's back. Hurrah. We're bringing back in. Right. With a few injuries, we're going to have a sort of a uh, changed side ever so slightly. They're not too much. So De Gea is going to start off in goal. We've got one Basaka, Lindelof, Maguire and Shaw out at the back. And did he? Just behind, uh, well, just in front of the um, defenders and just behind De Paul and Rune. And we're going to have Bruno in the attack with the cam roll as an advanced playmaker with Martial and Green. I'm just going to switch them two round. Uh, Martial likes to play on the left hand side. The form that we're in at the moment is looking good for us. So Dortmund have uh, got Berkey in goal, got Hummels, Khan, Zagadou, Mounier, Guerrero, uh, Wetzel, Delaney, Ranier, Reina. And Haaland up front. I wonder how many goals Haaland scored. Is it? I wonder if it's as much as Martial. Right, okay. Let's fist bump. Let's keep our run going. I don't think that really um, did anything for him, did it really? Right, okay. Let's straight into the tunnels then. Send the assistant. Let's kick off. Away we go then, folks. This is a, a big game. We get a first leg advantage. We stand a very, very good chance of uh, going to Germany and... Uh, coming away with a final appearance in the Champions League, which would be fantastic, but not um, not as important, I don't think, as the league. But uh, De Paul has just gone and put ourselves in front. It's his fifth goal of the season. Not sure what happened there. Was it a throw-in from Wambasaka? Let's have a closer look. He throws it in, and yeah, everybody stands still. It's off his knee. Rodrigo has gone and put Manchester United 1-0 up at home to Dortmund and we're taking um, we're taking advantage of our chances or chance that we've just seen as we uh, head to that one away. Greenwood's a bit lively so he gets there first. Lovely ball over to Martial who's our leading goal scorer. I think the club's leading goal Well, I don't think he's a club's leading goal scorer but he's broken a record though at least I feel. We're just waiting for confirmation on it as the ball gets played all the way wide. I'm hoping he's going to 
uh, scorer in this one as well. That would help. And that's not great. Somehow it's gone in. And Haaland has managed to stay onside. That's his 23rd goal of the season. Half the amount of goals as uh, Martial and Dortmund are back in the running. It's 1-1. They've got the all-important away goal. That's a bad header by Maguire. I'm not sure where he was directing that. He kept him on side. Who was that? Is that Lindelof? Maguire. Maguire with a bad header. And he kept him on side as well. Right, another free kick for Dortmund. And they've done it again. Haaland again. Two in a couple of minutes. What on earth has happened here? Our defence at the back has been all over the place. Maguire's just, sta he's just standing there. Absolutely standing there. Right. Maguire. Touchline. Berate him. Because I can. <laughs> I am berated anybody individually. But I'm berating him. Right. Maguire then. Pumps it up. Shaw on the left hand side. Maguire once again. Back to Shaw. Shaw. Feeds the ball. Not sure where it's going to. I thought he was going to try and run that out. But he's not. One per second now. Picks it up to Rune. To Ndidi. Right. Now this is a bit more calming. Shaw has the ball once again. We're missing Tellet. Oh my God. Bruno Fernandes. Only he can score goals like that. What a goal. What a finish by Bruno. Forget Martial. Forget Haaland. The goalkeeper. I'm not sure what he was thinking of. He just chucks it. Munier just puts it into the middle. And Bruno's there. On the volley. Get in. His 13th of the season. He's just gone and scored a worldie. On the volley. Outside the box. It's 2-2. What a game this is turning out to be. And we're only half an hour into the game. Greenwood runs with it. We're looking for Martial. He's not making his run. Greenwood holds on to it far too long. But he has it back again. All credit to him. He's going for goal. Isn't it? Mm. There's a lot of um, ping-ponging in there. And uh, this time Berkey just uh, rolls it out. As Haaland's on for his hat-trick. That's a cracking save by De Gea. I thought that had beat him underneath. But uh, he managed to get his hand there and flick it. <laughs> Somehow to behind him in an obscure angle. Uh, are we going to win the race to get there? Zagadu wins it. At the moment, Dortmund are absolutely smashing us on XG. We've not had the easiest of chances. But it's 2-2 all the same. I'm not exactly happy with this at all, to say the least. I'm far from pleased. Is this the opportunity for Cavani? Or Rashford, do you think? Rashford or Cavani? Oh, Rashford's motivator, so I'm going to take out Greenwood. We've got Van der Roon. He's not really been um, on it. I'm going to bring in Fred, and he can go ball-winning midfielder. There we go. can do that for us. Right, okay. Uh, we can bring Pizarro on as well if need be. Hopefully, we'll get a, a lead to take with us, but as it stands, we've got to go over to Germany and win. And that's going to prove very difficult, especially if they get a goal here. And uh, the Witzel's got a little bit of space there. Nobody's really troubling him at all. The ball's played out wide. Amri Khan is there. He's got the ball back once again. He's got a little bit of space. In fact, he's got too much space. I'm not liking the space bit at all. Uh, this is proving to be a very, very tough game. And Dortmund are playing um, very hard. And it just goes to show that we should have got Haaland. But Martial! Oh, he's got... He's just carried it out wide. Oh, he's, no! No, no, no! No! What's he done? If that's a potential foot injury, we could lose him for the rest of the season. And he will not reach 50 goals. Oh, gosh, no. Can we get uh, anything out of this game now? Surely, fire him up. Come on. Last couple of minutes of the uh, game. As we win the ball, Bruno plays it to Rashford. Deport. he's got Cavani ahead of him. Nine times out of ten, he'd try that anywhere else and he probably would have gone in. But um, not on this occasion as we're going to come out with a 2-2 uh, draw. I think Dortmund will be the happier of the two. I'm not going to be too happy until I find out what's happened with um, with Martial. I mean, our top goal scorer. I'm dreading it. I'm just worried. Right, this is it then, folks. Um, six days. Phew. All right, we're safe. He's, he's It's okay, but wow. That could have been that could have been dangerous. Three days he's got to rest as we've got a game in two days. Our fixture list is uh, absolutely killing our boys. As you can see, Ndidi, Maguire, Lindelof and Wan-Bissaka all need a rest. 
We can't give him rest. Maguire, I'm tempted to, but we've got nobody else on the bench to uh, come in. Uh, we've got Everton in a couple of days' time. We're going to move over to that, and we'll see you guys in just a second. Right then, folks, here we are, Goodison Park. Oh, what a lot of changes we've had to make. A lot of players are like injured. Marshall, we've lost him for this game. And um, Bruno's not available either. Right, have a look at the side then, folks. It's De Gea in goal. We've got Fossum Mensah on the right. Bailey and Lindelof in the middle with Williams on the left. Not the best. Uh, Pizarro comes in for Ndidi. Pogba and Rune are in the middle with uh, Rashford, Van der Beek and Cavani up from. We've got Twanzibi, Fred, Greenwood, Jones, even Shaw and DePaul on the bench. They're just very tired. We've got game. We've got Southampton again in the, another couple of games after this one. So it's going to be really tough. As uh, Everton have got Pickford in goal. We've got Kenny, Godfrey, Keane, Digne. Uh, Alan Decore, Davis Rodriguez, Bernard and Calvert-Lewin, who we've really got to keep an eye on. Right, uh, well, this is why Darun starts, and I think it's a good call. Fernandez has got to have them worrying about a defeat again. Really? We haven't got him playing. <laughs> a little bit odd. I don't. I haven't got Bruno on here, have I? Let's, uh, let's move along then, folks. Well, let's uh, Come on, lads. We will qualify for the Champions League if we win. We're favourites. Let's uh, pump fists. And uh, is this one... Uh, we've been on a good run of form. Let's go out and press. It's not the best of um, team talks, I have to say. Is uh, we uh, don't not sure who's kicking off yet, but uh, nothing's really happening. Six minutes gone. We've we've created a foul. That's about it. We have a free kick. Van der Beek. He puts one in. Oh, he's not away. And uh, Calvert Lewin. We've got three defenders. He skipped past one. He skipped past them all. What on earth are they doing at the back? That is a fantastic save by De Gea. But what on earth are our defenders doing at the back? Lindelof and Bailey. And that's a cracking save. And I do beg your pardon. That is just my uh, my uh, phone just going off there. It shouldn't be making any sort of noise really, to be perfectly honest. But uh, it's the ring camera I've got outside. And uh, there's a lot of uh, movement outside. I think someone's just walked past. In fact, I think it's somebody uh, pulling up, actually. I think it's the missus coming home from her run. Right, half time, and it's um, all over. It's all over. Nothing absolutely happening in that half whatsoever. Nil-nil. Although Everton are literally destroying us. Right, straight into the changing rooms. I'm not happy with performance out there, and they don't seem to be happy themselves either. So let's see if we can uh, shout at them a bit more and demand a little bit more pressure. Come on, boys. Right, 60 minutes gone. We're not really getting into this game at all. And it's uh, very worrying as uh, we're trying to close out the season, and we are struggling to... Uh, I mean, the last two home games were really... Oh, the ball's been played in. De Gea does magnificently well. Again, Williams is injured. We've got nobody else that can play in that position. Williams on the left. Who can, we can, we'll have to bring Luke Shaw in whether he's tired or not. Um, Pogba, what are you doing, my friend? Come on. Uh, support. And, in fact, no, you can go Mazzala. You can go on the attack. Ruin Pizarro. Right, okay. Is there anybody else? No, nothing's happening up front. Absolutely nothing. Right, okay. Let's make them a couple of changes. Let's hopefully they'll, uh, they'll pick up a little bit now as well. Fred on for Darun. Yeah, do that as well then. Everton now with Allen to Decore. Uh, we're not doing anything here to uh, help at matters here. We need... If we can get away with a draw, I'll be happy. The ball's been uh, knocked over. Let's shout at them again and uh, fire them up. Let's go. Ten minutes to go. Everton again. They're literally... We are literally hanging on here. Our players are so tired. I'd be happy for the day that comes when we get a week's rest. Because that is exactly what we want. The ball's played in and it's been knocked in by James Rodriguez. And it's 1-0 Everton. And that's not surprising. Absolutely not surprising. We've literally just been outplayed in this game. I was going to berate the whole team, but I can't really. Uh, so go I'm not going to see that goal again. 10 minutes now. And we're just everybody's just tired. Fitness levels are literally... They're just tired, and we're heading towards another defeat. Our fourth defeat this season, though, and that's really, really upsetting. We literally got smashed on the XG. Our players are uh, just absolutely tired, absolutely tired. We just can't do anything to try and get away. Simply put, that's not good enough. A 1-0 loss to Everton. We come away with still three points. Did Liverpool, Liverpool win? That was our game in hand. I believe that was our game in hand. And uh, we may have just rocked the boat a little bit. 
Uh, with four too late defeat, Williams is injured out for a couple of days, and uh, Lindelof, I don't really care. So on the back of a 3-0 and a 6-0, we come away with a 2-2 and a 0-1 today. And I think that's the first time we haven't scored in a game as well for a long, long time, apart from the 4-0 loss to uh, Man City way back in January. We didn't score a goal, folks. That's That hurts, and that uh, that concludes April. We're moving into uh, May next. We just need to keep winning. We need to win our home games. If we win our home games, then we'll stand a very good chance. We're going for a treble, folks. So we'll skip past the uh, Southampton game. We'll come back to the Dortmund, and we'll play Crystal Palace at home. And then we've got Liverpool away, Leeds at home, Man City in the final, Leicester. For <laughs> it's all going to the wire. I'm wondering whether we should be playing uh, the Liverpool game as well. Well, that's uh, that's for another episode. But for now, we're going to come back to the second leg and hopefully we can get ourselves into the final. Another final, hopefully. What a season we're having. Man to games that's coming in. It's... Uh, it's getting a little bit hard. Right, okay, if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.